trip. Woo! I have coffee. That is the only reason I have any energy right now because we left the house at 2.40 this morning. And it's been a while. It is 10 past one in the afternoon. We are taking a trip from San Diego up to San Jose. Up, right? Yep. Up to San Jose. And it's my first road trip, which is really exciting because firstly, we get to visit with Cody's family and friends, which I'm excited about. And secondly, because road trip was on my 30 before 30 list. So there we go, one down, 29 more to go. It should not be this long, ladies and gentlemen. It should not take this long. It shouldn't have. We yeah. were thinking it was gonna take how long did you think? Like seven hours? Uh, I was thinking six and a half. It uh, should be six and a half to get here. It's now going to be an 11 hour trip. We ran into a giant fire. Well, we didn't run into it, obviously, because here we are. But you, the fire blocked our path, shut down the road. It was a whole thing. So that really added some time onto our trip. And then apparently. Nine hours, so. <laughs> But then apparently there was even more traffic after that, but I missed all of that because I was asleep. I was not. It was a lot of traffic. So it's been a long drive, to say the least. I am glad that I slept for a little bit of it. I don't want to rub it in, but I am glad because I've never been in the car for this long. Like in the UK, you can't drive this far. You fall off the island. Like, it's, where do you go for like 11 hours? I'm having a good time. You have a comfortable car. Comfortable. And we have good music. And now that I have coffee, I have everything I need. And you, obviously. <laughs> it is another sunny day in California. And we are heading back from San Jose right now. Spent the last couple days up there meeting Cody's family. It was a lot of fun, it was nice. And we decided that rather than just like taking a straight shot all the way back, cause it's long, that we would stop off and like make a day of it. So right now we are in Monterey. We're gonna go to the aquarium today. I'm super excited about it because Cody says it's like the best aquarium. So, Let's see. Let's go see some fish. aquarium it was a lot of fun I saw a sea turtle and it was everything and then Cody was like you know what we could just stay the night in Monterey because it's a long drive back to San Diego and we got the nicest hotel room I feel so fancy right now it's nice look 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 we got a big old bed over here then we got like nice window seat we've got a view of the ocean we have a grumpy man in a chair oh my god <laughs> we have a fireplace like actual fireplace it's so nice i haven't seen the bathroom yet did you look at it is it nice i want to see they have wine and cheese right now in the lobby just free wine and cheese what is this i can't Turn the light on. A little switch. Where? Underneath the knob. What knob? Ah! Oh, it is a nice bathroom. Okay, so we got a bath, shower, toilet, all the bathroom things, you know. But I'm just so excited. I mean, you guys know me, I love to go on a trip anywhere. But this hotel is so nice. And it's fun because it means that we get to <clears throat> stay in Monterey for a little bit longer, which is nice because it's so beautiful here. And it is. Yes, it is. 
I'm so excited. I thought the highlight of today was gonna be seeing that sea turtle, but it just keeps getting better. Yeah, now for dinner. Yeah. And free wine will eat before dinner. Yes, we should go get our free wine. See y'all. Yes. So we're back on the road. We are heading back to San Diego. We left Monterey this morning and I was not ready to leave. Wrapping up the road trip and we stopped at the petrol station. It's 20 past two. I've been asleep for some unknown amount of time. And I think it's fair to say that what we've learned from this experience is that I am not a good road trip passenger because all I do is nap. I have no idea where we are. I have no idea what is happening. I don't really know who I am at this point, honestly, because I've been passed out for a while now. <laughs> I feel a little bit disoriented. Yay! Thank you. That's a big ass bag of Doritos. I didn't realize I got the big one. I'm happy about it. Do you know where we are? Uh, middle of absolutely nowhere. Awesome. I don't like this road that we're on. It's just straight with nothing on it. It's boring and I don't appreciate it at all. It's just dirt and more dirt. I don't like it. Hey, more dirt. This is not how the road trip was in that movie with Britney Spears. They came upon lots of interesting things along the road. That's not happening to us. I also don't feel like I found myself on this trip. I haven't made any great life-changing <laughs> discoveries about myself as a person and I haven't done karaoke, so... Well, it was uh, nothing like that Britney Spears movie. I tried movie. doing karaoke with you, but uh, you weren't participating. When? So, I don't know, my whole singing along to Katy Perry. Oh, yeah, no, well, I just needed I to sleep. I want the road trip to be over now. We're so close to home. We just called into the store really quickly and then we're gonna eat pizza and then I'm gonna like collapse in my pajamas. Isn't it weird how just traveling makes you so exhausted? I mean, I've sat here all day. I haven't done anything except nap and complain and I'm exhausted. Like, I feel like I could sleep for days. And that's the way I feel whenever I fly too. And it's not like I'm personally flying the plane. It requires no concentration or physical exertion for me. But when I get off that plane, all I wanna do is sleep. What's that about? That's the first thing ticked off my 30 before 30 list. Road trip, done.